everybody? In this video, the question that we're gonna be asking is, is the new Edge Mustang, the 4.6 liter two valve, is it a reliable car? The engine in these new Edge Mustangs, the amazing sounding 4.6 liter two valve, it has proven its worth. It is in an insane amount of different cars. Most notably for this engine, it has been in the Crown Victoria. It has been used and abused by police departments all over the country. Think about how much abuse police cars go through and just how solid and reliable they have to be. The Crown Vicks were also used as, and some actually still use them as, taxi vehicles. So there's companies out there that have been running these Crown Vicks 200, 300, 400, and even 500,000 miles. Like, think about a taxi in New York City, one of these Crown Vicks, it has been absolutely abused and ran to the ground, and they're still running. Some other cars that are worth mentioning that have this engine in it are the Lincoln Town Car, it's the uh, Crown Victoria's fancy brother, some Ford F-Series and E-Series, pickup trucks and vans, the Ford Explorer, Ford Thunderbird, and the Mercury Grand Marquis. Now, I'm sure you've heard this multiple times, but a car is only as reliable as the maintenance that you do to it. And I agree, engines are built and specced to have servicing intervals. So if you ignore or neglect those servicing intervals and the maintenance that should be done, then you're asking for trouble. A lot of people you hear complaining about unreliable cars, it's because the cars have been used, abused, beat to death, and they've been neglected. They haven't been taken care of properly. So if you don't do maintenance properly, then of course you're gonna have issues. A lot of times these are unsuspecting victims because you know an owner will drive, abuse, beat the crap out of a car, and then go ahead and sell it so the next owner or the owner after that is getting a car and it's like, man, these cars are junks, but no, really it's just the first couple of owners didn't take care of it properly and now you're dealing with all the issues. So regarding Mustang specifically, these cars were mass produced and they were so popular that there is hundreds and thousands of them out there with high mileage that are running perfectly fine and they are super reliable. So it just goes to show you how little problems and how reliable these cars really are. Now, another issue, aside from maintenance, that these cars run into is modifying them. These cars are so popular in the tuner community and you know muscle car community that a lot of people start putting aftermarket parts on them and then the quality of those aftermarket parts might not be the same as the OEM or factory parts that came with the car. So then you start running into issues because a lot of these cars have been modified like it is almost near impossible to find a stock one for sale because I mean these are really fun cars to modify and you can do so much to them and really make them your own and they're so customizable that no one keeps them stock and that's the other thing is it's a good thing that they don't keep them stock because these cars do really well with modifications like for example stock this car sounds okay but just putting on some headers and an exhaust on the car, it sounds completely different, like a completely different animal. And a lot of people enjoy doing that because they enjoy having the car sound nice. Like for example, this car has BBK headers and it has a uh, Bassani exhaust on it. And it sounds incredible. It sounds way better than stock. I didn't want a stock Mustang, so I looked for one that had mods already done to it and then I can save myself some money. But you gotta make sure that the mods that are done to it are done properly and with the right parts. So you know, I looked for one that had the parts that I wanted on it and it had the sound that I wanted. Regarding this car specifically, if it were to give you any indication of how much I trust the reliability on these Mustangs is the fact that this is my daily driver. Now granted, I don't, my commute is pretty short, you know, 15, 20 minutes each way uh, to work. So it's not a huge deal, but I actually bought this car because I wanted to learn how to drive stick shift. So, you know, it has been fantastic to me, zero reliability issues, especially with all the things it has done to it. You would think, you know, something is gonna go wrong, but no, it has been dead on reliable. Uh, when I first bought it, I took it a mechanic 
you know, have it looked through and fix a couple things that it needed done. I had the, uh, you know, oil changed and, you know, a couple things like transmission oil checked and all that stuff. So once he gave me the okay, told me everything was good, I have been driving this car without any worries. And this is a 21 year old car, so it's it's not a new newer car at all. Um, and with the extensive modifications it has done, like I said, I've had zero issues. I've put about 2,000 miles on it. Zero issues whatsoever, daily driving it. So if you're watching this and you own a Mustang, let me know in the comments below. Has it been as reliable as this one has been to me? Because like I said, these are old cars, so I'd expect things to go wrong with them, but it has been absolutely solid. And especially with the amount of modifications this has, this has a uh, heavy duty racing clutch, it has um, cams, headers, exhaust, injectors, a tune. So I would think things would start going wrong because this car is like set up for like racing and you know higher horsepower, but it has been absolutely solid for you know over 2,000 miles now. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you have a Mustang or if you're thinking about getting a Mustang, what you think about them and their reliability, or if you've had any you know horror stories that might help someone out if they're looking to get a Mustang. Let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.